Well, it's Monday. It's right around noontime, and I'll publish this in a in a, in short order after I get through making it. And uh, today, what we're going to do is uh, we looked at the ship when we started there. You had a few seconds, and that's the uh, ship and shipyard in 2013. I believe it was down at the Boston uh, Boston Naval Old Boston Naval Shipyard, and. Um, we're going to go through about 80 slides, 80, 85 slides, relatively quickly. So I'm anticipating this will be right around 20, 22 minutes long. This material that we're talking about today is not going to be on exam number three. That exam number three, of course, is going to be on Wednesday. I'm also simultaneously working on that. Um, this is going to be in addition, and uh, this will be an If you want to respond to this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a chance to earn some extra points on that exam. I'm going to make it pretty worthwhile, too, so it can really bump you up. I'm not, I'm not talking about taking you from a, you know, from a C- minus to an A- plus or any, anything like that. Let's be real. But we'll, um, we'll, we'll give you a chance to, uh, you know, gain a few points and maybe put yourself and uh, regain some of those mistakes, some, some of those low points from back in the beginning of the semester. So we'll try to help you out there. Um, I think that's all I want to say, and uh, we'll finish it up. You'll see me when I come back here, and we'll, we'll finish up the class there. Thanks a lot. So we're looking at the state of Maine in the dry dock. You see it's a graving dock, and you see some, there's, some, there's some lines. These aren't lines that we tie up with. These are, these are pneumatic uh, air lines that are coming over. And probably maybe there's some power lines tied up there, but I don't think those are lines that we're tying the ship up with. Uh, there would be no reason to necessarily tie the ship up since it's not really sitting in the water. You can see it's on the on the blocks down here and it is in the shipyard. Not a lot of activity going on on this day. And we'll just start kind of clicking through here. Well, shipyard periods are, are you know, they can be pretty exciting, but then again, you know, not always. So what are you looking at here? And if you if you think about it, I'll tell you that you're up on the weather deck. You're in between the main house, uh, forward house and the after house, right there by the quarter deck. And uh, you what you have here is this is the this is the foundation or the base to the stores crane on the port side, I believe. And this is this is right there. You can see there's a there is where the uh, life ring on the railing that's been moved in and cut away there. And um, they're just doing some work. They had to do some work on that. And we'll come back and we'll finish on this. So there's big things and then there's small things going on in the shipyard. And we'll flip back here. And this is they, as they were getting ready to uh, pull the shaft off, and pull the, the shaft out of the ship and do an inspection. You can see that they've already, the shipyard workers have already moved one of the propeller blades. Now, you know that the, the ship is a controllable pitch propeller. And there's kind of a close up shot. This is just after it's removed and workers have already, you know, sort of uh, jammed some rags in there. They'll get a final and a better cover uh, when it's uh, actually pulled off and set aside. You'll see that in just a minute. There's another view. It's a pretty interesting view of looking up the ship with only one blade there so far. Ultimately, all the blades get off and they're put down in the base of the dry dock. Here's a view of, let's see, this is the uh, this is the starboard side, so uh, lifeboat number one and number three here. You notice that they're covered up with their winter covers just to be able to keep any uh, overspray off them from painting or, or any of this uh, blasting, uh, uh, sand blasting or um, shot blasting that they were doing. And you can see some of the air lines, again, the mad, probably there was some water, there's a water line right there that's coming in. And there was different things, and there's probably a phone line that's coming in over here. And so there's a lot of stuff that's happening and hooked, hooking the ship up. And here's a view of the uh, of the uh, uh, fast rescue boat on the on the starboard side, and uh, you know, that's all covered up to protect that. Another shot of that. And you can see now that the. Uh, They've hooked up and we have starting to extract the, 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 uh, it's been disconnected on the inside. So we're not coming all the way back to the engine, but just the tail shaft itself, the very, uh, end, the aft end of the shaft and then the propeller hub on it as well. 
And that's, you can see a lot of gear here, a lot of uh, chain fall hoists, uh, chain hoists or um, chain falls, either word here. One, you can see the strap that comes down and it's uh, gently holding onto the end of the propeller boss. Just look at the amount of rigging. Notice that those pad eyes, and I'll just point this out to you, those pad eyes are permanently there. They're permanently part of the ship. Uh, more could be added, but they are initially, there it is right there. There's another pad eye and there's another one that this is connected to up here. This is an interesting uh, shot. Now this is a opening in the hull underwater which is only there for the shipyard. And uh, you can see the opening, but what they've done is they've created a little bit of a uh, temporary sliding plywood door in the tracks that it goes in so that they could protect that area from the elements. This would be right there in, uh, in the shaft alley area. And there was that opening that came out of that spot. There was that opening that came out and then they're going to set that aside uh, for future use. Here's the workers are getting real, more chain falls ready to, uh, they're going to take the rudder or um, I guess we could use the word unhang. We hang the rudder and then we uh, we unhang the rudder and it's going to be coming off and that's what they're preparing to do there. The tail shaft is getting ready to be backed out. You can see the strap. There's a black strap here, an orange strap here, supporting that so it's not bending or there's no risk. And also notice that there's been more uh, permanent plywood covers bolted in place, not just rags to protect that. And then there's some workers getting to getting ready to take the rudder off and uh, other view of the shaft being pulled out. And then we're going along. We'll jump down. We'll look at the bilge keel and the different so here was a primer coat, another coat over that. So the white, the yellow, and then the uh, the final uh, anti-fouling coat that goes along the side here. And um, this this is what you're looking at now. So here, this big thing that we kind of see that I'm highlighting, that's the uh, the end of the bilge keel with the doubler plate. And you'll notice that this opening in the hull. I want you to look up here too. Notice these two openings up here. Now this direction is towards the bow. Moving back here, this is coming towards the stern. I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe this is this this is the um, the um, the inlet for the forward uh, emergency fire pump. I think that's what it's for. That's uh, a, a place to get a C suction for that. Now this is this is always there, and this is the this is the graded hatch, which uh, closes down. It swings down. You see how it's right now. There's a pad eye above it. This is tied up with a with a, a, real, a pretty good heavy piece of line. It's kind of like a trap door, so to speak. These up here are a little bit different. Those are not usually there. Those have been temporary, temporarily cut into the hull. Back to the stern. Still some more movement on the rudder. Now we see there's a little bit of space here. And moving ahead, notice that the inspection, we have taken the uh, rudder uh, plates off here and we have the inspection ports on the uh, both the port and starboard side of the rudder. Some workers with uh, tag ropes and control lines. And there's the rudder coming off, pintles and gudgeons up here. And the rudder's coming off. There's the rudder post coming down from the steering engine room. And we're just about disconnected. There's the end of the rudder post. Just look at the amount of uh, chain falls and chain hoists. Uh, that, that pad eye there looks like it was uh, temporarily, temporarily welded on. That was a, uh, so they're not always there, but when you need them, you can put more on. Now we see that the rudder is a little bit canted off to the uh, starboard side. So it tells me it's uh, disconnected. And there's the end of the uh, rudder post coming down. So now we move to the inside of the uh, ship. This is up forward in one of the ballast tanks. And there was a lot of work done with the ballast tank. You can see that there was a lot of rust and corrosion and a lot of, uh, um, a lot of uh, paint needed to, be, needed to be blasted, shot blasted, and then and then it needed to be cleaned and so on and so forth. And that's what's happening down here. But you, that was when they did the initial inspection and before they had started, started the work. And 
you can see um, you can see the rust on the bottom this would be the tank top this rusty area and the ribs of the ship coming down the, the framing of the ship and you see some see you see some uh, pipelines running up forward here tremendous amount of, of rust we took care of that the access was down through these ladders this is the space that you'll be getting into by the way on the training cruise you'll get in there and uh, the uh, training officers uh, Captain Tarrant or Captain Slazes or whoever uh, Captain Norwood somebody will take you down there and you'll go through a, a tank entry ex exercise and looking at some of the gear some of the stuff in the tank there's where the uh, ballast suction comes in. Uh, that looks like it disappears into the into the deck, but it doesn't. It's actually probably above the deck, right there. You probably could get your hand where the where the arrow is. You could get your hand underneath that and reach up in it. There's nothing. There's no screens or anything like that. It's just open pipe, and you could take a suction on that space. So back to the outside, and we see again shot of the bilge keel. There's an interesting picture now. This is um. This is, I probably should have shown this afterwards, but the way this showed up, it, it's here. This uh, this welder is getting ready to, to close up some, uh, a, a large manhole that they've cut into the side of the ship, and they're using these extra steel plates here, and you'll see how they're used in just a minute. So there's the opening, which was cut. Now, it's, it looks like it's hinged like a door, but it's not. They've just tack welded that plate in position it doesn't swing open or close. That's not the point. Uh, rather, the point would be that you don't just put that on the bottom of the shipyard and have someone, you know, mistakenly think it's a piece of scrap and then it's gone because it, since it came out of this opening, this is the perfect size to go back in and it is going to be, it is going to be used. And you can see how that's done. Now, here's those, here's those steel braces and they are positioned with these wedges. You can kind of pick out that those are a wedge, a wooden wedge shape, and they slip underneath so that as you uh, push them in further or re retract those wedges, you can see that that would either set the inner plate, the oval plate would either be set in deeper or it would be uh, lifted out and not in as deep. That can get, that allows you to get the, the, uh, the cutout flush with the overall hull when you do it different angle there you can clearly see the wedge shape now on that and there's uh, another one there was a couple of them on the side uh, this was for human access this one was for a uh, this is a, a corrugated flexible uh, ventilation line that went into the other hole remember there was two of them up there we're gonna have to ask about this to here and let's see if we can get a better shot of that Sure, there's one right there. And that is the impressed current cathodic, cathodic protection system for the for the hull. And that's the uh, that's the uh, spot where that comes from. And there's located around the ship. Now, there there's that cathodic protection uh, impressed current one again. There's the sea chest that we were talking about. I can't quite tell if it's that one or that one. But there's those two openings that we just saw and we just talked about in the hull. We'll move on to the chain. When you, when you go into the uh, shipyard, the chain, uh, both chains are, are laid out on the floor of the, of the dry dock. That's called ranging the chain. And the chain is ranged out and it was an inspection done. Uh, this looked pretty good. I don't think there was any more work had to be done on this. They just cleaned it up and put it back together. That's the detachable link uh, separating shots of chain. And there it is, sort of the view. And I think that one was okay. You'll notice that this one was not okay and it had to be opened up with a cutting torch. And so that one had to be replaced. And that was a detachable link. And there is a detachable link put back together connecting the links of chain. Here's the chain. And by the way, there's the anchor. Here's the chain all ranged out. Uh, been repainted black and they're going to um, going to be doing some painting of the shots and the detachable link, you know, as you have been as you have been taught to do. Remember the uh, impressed current and then 
there's those two covers that have now been put back in place and they've been painted and they're waiting for their final uh, coat of anti-fouling paint. Here's the hull. The hull wasn't completely painted. It was a uh, you know spot painted and to touch it up. Now the covers come off the lifeboat here and we can understand what they got going on there. And so uh, it was a uh, this is the primer coat, another primer coat, and then the fun finish blue coat would come onto it. There's a picture of that um, uh, inlet for, again, I believe that's the uh, forward emergency fire pump. So this grating is over the, you know, keeps any large debris from coming in and getting in there. But there's the intake pipe set into this, uh, what's that called? Anybody know? Are you thinking sea chest? That's right, that's a sea chest there. And here's some sacrificial zinc anodes back here on the stern, where you would expect to see them, and some on the rudder as well. Looks like the rudder is getting back into position. Now we're going to move back to that, um, back into that ballast tank forward, and you just can see how how uh, corroded, rusty, and uh, how, what, what uh, how the amount of work that had had to be done in there. You'll be going down there. And there it is, the finished view. That's pretty good, isn't it? So quite a bit of work. Um, you recognize all these pieces. There's a web frame. There is a, well, it's a tank frame, but you could say it's a hold frame. There's a bracket down here. Notice the frame ends right at that point. The frame ends, doesn't go through the, doesn't go through. This isn't really a deck. Yeah, there's a guy standing on it, but it's not really a deck. It's more of a panting. Uh, a panting frame type stuff that is up in the bow of the ship. And you can see how that comes. Notice the web frame does come all the way down through, but these don't. These stop. Okay, so you know what this is. This is the last shot of chain. There's the second from last shot of chain. And you can see the various markings on the chain here. For instance, let's see, detachable link in red, one, two, three, four, five. This is sig marching marking six shots. There's the detachable link, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven shots of chain. The final shot, almost, well, second from last shot, and then the various markings of links of chain. Two, three, one, two, three. Okay, that's three shots marking there. Picture of the blocks. Notice how that the, it's a. Uh, they've selected the uh, shipyard uh, workers have selected just the right uh, wedge to to uh, as perfectly as you possibly could do uh, to meet that um, slope of the ship's hull as it comes in contact. The rudder coming back into place. Tail shaft being put back in, rudder being hung. Prepped. There's some marking, any through hull fitting is uh, that this would be number one center and it would be all beyond the ship's drawings. Here's a frame number, uh, frame, frame uh, 35, so frames are numbered from the bow aft. Here's frame 15, notice it was done in chalk and then it was, it was painted on the hull. Here is a sea chest, this is number one port, that's the one that we looked at before. This is number two port, number four port, so the uh, the evens are on the port side here coming aft, five port, all the through hull fittings and sea chests. There's that classic picture of the ship in dry dock. A little bit, little bit of a different view. It's 
all been cleaned up and uh, repainted on the inside that you know of course that's naturally uh, there's a not a sea chest but there's a, a through hull fitting chain going back in uh, rudder uh, shaft the the shaft is being the uh, stern tube going into the stern tube now this this was remember we talked about that uh, that opening in the side of the ship and there was that temporary plywood door there's the back side of the plywood so this is right down there in, in shaft alley that they are working on and that's uh, not that's a pretty tight space isn't it there's the spray painting going on. Look at the uh, look at the ribs of the ship there. Let the light is just just right. This is up at the bow of the ship. There's that impressed current system. Uh, the captain took this shot here, looking all the way under the ship, going across all the way to the starboard side to the port side. That's what she looks like underwater. Notice it's all been tented for the final coat. It's been tented here just to kind of give us a, a better environment. Now we're just about at the end and uh, this is where we started. You can see the, uh, you can see their fellows are still working and they have now gotten the, uh, the foundation removed. You can see that circle there. And they had to actually crop out and re, uh, re, uh, redo this section of deck. So there's big stuff going on. All this stuff had to come out of there. All these, all these uh, longitudinal and athwart ship um, deck beams and longitudinals under the under that weather deck all had to be, be removed. And then all of this other material had to be removed and and reworked. Well, I think we're just about, I think we're done. So um, I'm going to come back on screen and I'm going to finish up there. Uh, I, like I said, we get, don't, don't forget that, that test on uh, exam number three on Wednesday. And I'll think a little bit more and I'll, I'll put something out in the form of an announcement um, so that everybody can uh, can respond I'll, I'll tell you how do i want you to respond if you're if you want to do it that's some extra credit and that'll be based on just talking about the, what i just showed you here so that was 22 23 minutes and i think i think i'll end right there Not bad, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. Bye-bye.